Cook. I'm the president of the Midwest Independent Film Festival Advisory Council. Tonight I'm going to be playing hostess with the mostest to you all uh, here at our annual Female Filmmakers Night. So, welcome. At first, until I was about eight years old, I thought I wanted to be a pet photographer, naturally. Like, that's a job. Um, <laughs> and I, I had a place picked out in the local mall where I was going to set up my studio and take pictures of pets <laughs> that everybody wanted. But that didn't work out. Part A would be, what were your challenges breaking in as a woman, and how do you now view other women in the industry? Um, well, I think my challenges of breaking in as a woman, first of all, I came in sort of as a producer, and so that tends to be a more traditional role that women play. But I just kept working my way towards producer director if you're a director on a set you you have to really be able to lead whoever is your crew and they have to feel like you're um, you have a vision and I think that's really important to be able to do that whether they're men or women where's the future of filmmaking because television you know network is it's it's challenging the money's still there but it's challenging um, I think the future of filmmaking is being nimble and being able to do um, things that are transmedia projects that only exist on the web. You know, you, you can't stick with any one model. If you do, then you usually end up falling behind. Network television is really challenging because now they're competing with with HBO or AMC that are, that are pay stations, yeah, Netflix. Netflix. Like you're saying, being nimble and being ready to take to take things on different platforms, whether it's you know these different levels of drama at different different time lengths than we're used to. You know, viewing in different ways, like in pods or on the internet, or you know interweaving it with gaming, which is now a big, big narrative game. force. Yeah. I mean, you got to be ready for anything, really, I think. it's But it's all basic storytelling, whether it's 3D or 2D or whatever the heck, you know, 48 frames or 24 frames, whatever it is, it's storytelling, and that's what everything goes back to. If you don't have a good story, nobody, nobody cares. I know, and now I'm here in Chicago, and it's so awesome. Um, I'm sorry, I've just been talking to people in other places and now I get to be like, you guys are so great. What was the inspiration for your film and how did, how did that all come about? It really seems like you had a lot of heavy hitters in the community. How did you rally the troops? I was visiting an old Victorian house and someone mentioned to me, uh, hey, look at these lovely wooden doors. Do you know why these doors are so wide? And I said, no. And they said, well, they're, they're that wide so you can get a casket in and out of the living room. And that kind of like uh, struck a, a chord with me, um, uh, in, in that the, what the what kind of the way we approached death uh, has changed so much in the modern age, and um, and thus the way we grieve and say goodbye. Um, and then I, I saw the uh, Lars von Trier film Breaking the Waves, and in the credits, the like just I was like, oh, that'd be a weird idea. And and uh, and then um, just kind of sat on it for a while, didn't didn't really put pen to page for a couple of months, um, and then kind of wrote it in the shop. As far as when I found my own way. Believe it or not, it was Spielberg. Okay, don't get mad at me, but Jurassic Park, when there's that first shot where the dinosaurs are running across the field, I didn't want to do like the special effects and stuff that I saw, but the feeling that I got when I saw the dinosaurs and I was just like, oh. I wanted to make people do that, you know, no matter what the subject or the, the topic or the, what was on the screen, I just wanted to make them have the feeling that I had. Uh, unfortunately, there, there are very few role models for me, actually, uh, uh, as a director and a writer, and that's something that I've thought a lot about. I hear my, my male filmmaker friends, you know, talk about Kubrick or talk about um, Bogdanovich or talk about um, these, these, these um, iconic filmmakers and, and feeling like I don't really have like a, a mom of a sort is is strange, um, but I would say I would say Robert Altman's uh, film Three Women is a film that kind of made me go crazy, and you've probably not seen it or heard of it because of, of all of the other Robert Altman films that are there. But but you should all see it because it's completely insane. Okay, <laughs> thank you all so much for coming out tonight. Really appreciate your support of all of our female filmmakers this generation and beyond. Show it.